Hello, in this lecture we will find the radius of a circle enclosed in a triangle. As you can see in the drawing, we have triangle ABC with a side AB that equals to 4 units side AC of the triangle equals to 5 units and the side BC of triangle ABC equal to 3 units <coughs> and we also know that the area of triangle ABC equals to 6 units squared Okay, and inside the, the triangle we have a circle and uh, we want to find the radius of this circle. First of all, uh, let's uh, define the center of this circle as M, point M is the center of this circle and uh, actually side AB of the triangle uh, of uh, the touching point uh, between side AB and the circle is uh, at point N and uh, or we can also say that side AB of the triangle is tangent uh, to the circle at point N okay and uh, Side uh, BC of the triangle or the touching point between side BC of the triangle and the circle uh, will be defined as point M. Again, side BC of the triangle is tangent to the circle at point M and uh, also the touching point between side AC of the triangle and the circle is at point P or we can also say that uh, side AC of the triangle is tangent to the circle at point P okay let's uh, connect together points M uh, actually we will call the center of this circle O okay the center of this circle is at point O and uh, in the next step we will connect together points N and O by a straight line actually line segment N O is uh, line segment NO is actually the radius of this circle because it starts from the center of the circle and ends at point N that is the point on the circle itself <coughs> for that reason line segment NO 
is the radius of this circle. I will mark it as uh, small r. And in the same way, we will connect together by a straight line, points O and M. And actually, line segment MO is the radius of this circle. I will mark it as R, because it starts from the center, line segment MO or OM starts from the center of uh, this circle, that is to say from point O, and ends at point M, that is a point on the circle itself. For that reason, line segment MO is the radius of this uh, circle. <coughs> and uh, in the same way, we will connect points O and P together by a straight line. And actually, line segment OP is the radius of this circle because it starts from the from point O that is the center of this circle and ends at point P that is a point on the circle itself. For that reason, line segment OP is the radius of this circle. Actually, the definition of a radius of any circle is uh, any line segment that is inside the circle and starts from the center of the circle and ends at the point on the circle itself or at any, at any point on the circle itself it, it is defined as the radius of this circle and uh, those three line segments satisfy the, this def uh, definition of uh, a radius okay so those three line segments NO, OP and MO are the radiuses of this circle okay and uh, actually uh, we have a rule and we call it rule number one that uh, states that in any circle a radius and the tangent to that radius are perpendicular to each other. I will repeat again on rule number one. Rule number one states that in any circle, a radius and the tangent to that radius are perpendicular to each other. So actually, if we have a radius, let's call it R, and uh, the tangent uh, to that radius, let's call it uh, T, then the radius is perpendicular to its tangent. That is to say, this angle is 90 degrees, and this angle is also 90 degrees. So in any circle, a radius and the tangent to that radius are perpendicular to each other. So actually, we can implement rule number one in our circle, because we have here three radiuses, 
and free tangent to that reduces. So actually, for example, line segment NO is the radius of this circle and we have tangent AB to this radius. So according to rule number one, the radius is perpendicular to its tangent. That is to say angle O and A equals to 90 degrees and also angle O and B equals to 90 degrees. Okay? Because in any circle, a radius and the tangent to the radius are perpendicular to each other. That is to say this angle is 90 degrees and this angle is also 90 degrees. And uh, actually also line segment MO is the radius of this circle. We have the radius, uh, MO is the radius of this circle and we have the tangent to this radius. That is side BC of the triangle. So according to rule number one, they are perpendicular to each other. The radius is perpendicular to the tangent to its tangent, that is to say angle O, M, B will be equal to 90 degrees and also angle O, M, C will be equal to 90 degrees because the radius is perpendicular to its tangent, that is to say this angle is 90 degrees and this angle is also 90 degrees. Okay, and uh, uh, also the radius O, P uh, we have the radius OP and the tangent to this radius, that is side AC of the triangle. So according to rule number one, the radius is perpendicular to its tangent. That is to say angle OPA equals to 90 degrees and also angle OPC equals to 90 degrees. Okay. So in any circle, a radius and the tangent to, to the radius are perpendicular to each other. So this radius is perpendicular to its tangent, to, to its tangent AB. That is to say this angle is 90 degrees and this angle is also 90 degrees. Radius OM is perpendicular to its tangent BC. That is to say, this angle is 90 degrees and this angle is also 90 degrees. The radius OP is uh, perpendicular to, the tangent, to its tangent, that is side AC of the triangle. That is to say, angle OPA equals to 90 degrees and also angle OPC equals to 90 degrees. Okay, and uh, actually, uh, we have uh, the general formula for uh, the area of any circle is the area of a circle area of a triangle equals to the base of the triangle times the height to the base all divided by 2 so again the formula for the area of any triangle equals to the base of the triangle times the height of the base divided by 2. Okay, or instead of the area of the a triangle, we can use the capital letter A, abbreviation for area, and we can write down that A, the area of the triangle, equals to the base of the triangle times the height to the base
all divided by 2. Okay, so that is the formula for the area of any triangle is equals to the base times the the base times the i to the base or divided by 2. Okay, so actually uh, we can use the formula for the area of any triangle in order to calculate the uh, areas of the triangles that, uh, that uh, inside the big triangle uh, ABC. So actually we will connect together points B and O by a straight line and we also connect together points B and C, O and C by a straight line So we connected together points O and B by a straight line and points O and C by a straight line. And we also connect together points O and A by a straight line. And in the next step, we will calculate the area of the triangle BOC. The area of the green triangle B O C So actually the area of the green triangle BOC equals to the base of the triangle. It is given us in the question that the base of uh, that the base is actually BC. It is given us in the question that side BC of the triangle equals to 3. So the area of the green triangle POC will be equal to the base of the triangle that is 3 units it is given us in the question times the height of the triangle the height to the base the height to the base creates 90 degrees with the base so the radius creates 90 degrees with the base BC. That is the reason that the radius is the height of the green triangle. Okay, the radius is the height of the, uh, of the green triangle, so it is uh, the base 3 times the height, that is the radius, all divided by 2. So the area of the green triangle equals to the base of the triangle that is 3 units times the height. The height creates 90 degrees with the base BC. So the height is the radius of this circle that creates 90 degrees with the base. Okay, so the, uh, the base that is 3 units times the height that is the radius divided by 2 is the area of the green triangle BOC. Or 3 over 2 is 1.5, so we we'll write it down. So actually, the area of the green triangle BOC equals to 3 over 2 times the radius. 3 over 2 is 1.5. So in total, the area of triangle, the green triangle BOC equals to 1.5 times the radius of the circle. Okay, and in the same way, we'll calculate the area of triangle AOC.
or actually we'll calculate the area of the yellow triangle AOC So the area of the yellow triangle AOC equals to the base of the triangle that equals to five units. It is given us in the question. Times the height to the base. The height to the base creates 90 degrees with the base. So the radius creates 90 degrees with the base that is AC. The base of the, uh, the yellow triangle is AC and the radius creates 90 degrees with the base. Angle OPA equals to 90 degrees and angle OPC equals to 90 degrees. So the radius creates 90 degrees with the base. That is the reason that the radius is the height of the yellow triangle. So the area of the yellow triangle will be equal to the base of the triangle that is 5 units times the height that is the radius of the circle all divided by 2 ok so actually the area of the yellow triangle AOC equals to the base of the triangle that is 5 units it is given us in the question times the height the height creates 90 degrees of the base so the height is the radius of this circle all divided by 2. 5 times the radius divided by 2. 5 over 2 equals to 2.5. So we write it down. So actually the area of the yellow triangle equals to 5 over 2 times the radius. 5 over 2 is 2. 2.5 times the radius. So the area of the triangle AOC, the yellow triangle, equals to 2.5 times the radius. Okay, and uh, in the same way, we'll calculate the area of triangle AOB. or we will calculate the area of the orange triangle AOB So the area of the orange triangle AOB equals to the base of the orange triangle that is actually 4 units, it is given us in the question, times the height of the orange triangle the height creates 90 units, uh, 90 degrees with the base AB, so the radius creates 90 units with the base AB. That is the reason that the radius is the height of the uh, orange triangle AOB. So it is the base 4 times the height, that is the radius, all divided by 2. So the area of the orange triangle equals to the base, that is 4 units, 
is given us in the question, finds the height of the orange triangle that equals to the radius, because the radius creates 90 degrees with the base AB, that is the reason that the radius is the height of the orange triangle. So it is, in total, the base that is 4 units times the height that is the radius of the circle, all divided by 2. Okay, so it is 3 times the radius divided by 2. 3 over 2 equals 2, 2, I will write it down. So, in total, we got that the area of the orange triangle equals to the base of the triangle times the height divided by 2. The base of the triangle equals to 4 units, it is given us in the question, times the height. The height is the radius because it, it creates 90 degrees with the base, so it is the, the base of the triangle that equals to 4 units times the height of the triangle that is the radius divided by 2. Okay, so f uh, 4 over 2 equals to 2, so in total the area of the orange triangle equals to 2 times the radius. Okay, so actually we found that the area of the green triangle equals to one, uh, 1 1.5 times the radius of the circle, the area of the yellow triangle equals to 2.5 times the radius, and the area of the orange triangle equals to 2 times the radius. Okay. But, as you can see from the drawing, the area of the big triangle ABC equals to the sum of the areas of the green triangle plus the area of the yellow triangle plus the area of, of the orange triangle. So we can create equation number one that states that the area of the big triangle ABC equals to the sum of the areas of the green triangle plus the area of the yellow triangle plus the area of the orange triangle. So the area of the big triangle ABC equals to the area of the green triangle that is actually 1.5 time, times the radius, 1.5 R, plus the area of the yellow triangle that equals to 2.5 times the radius okay plus the area of the orange triangle that equals to two times the radius the area of the orange triangle equals to two times the radius okay so in total we got Equation number one that states that the area of the big triangle ABC equals to the sum of the areas of the green triangle plus the area of the yellow triangle plus the area of the orange triangle. Okay, so uh, the area of triangle ABC, the big triangle, equals to the area of the green triangle that equals to 1.5 times the radius plus the area of the yellow triangle that equals to 2.5 times the radius plus the area of the orange triangle that equals to two times the radius of the circle. Okay, so we actually can summarize this side of the equation. The area of triangle ABC, the big triangle, will be equal to the sum of the areas of the three triangles, the yellow, the green, and the orange triangle. 1.5 uh, times the radius plus 2.5 plus, plus 2 times the radius 
equals to four times the radius. And four times the radius plus two times the radius equals to six times the radius. So in total, in this side of the equation, number one, we have six times the radius. So the area of triangle ABC will be equal to six times the radius of the circle. Because the sum of those three expressions equals to six times the radius. 1.5 times the radius plus 2.5 times the radius equals to four uh, times the radius. And four times the radius plus two times the radius equals to six times the radius in total. So the area of triangle ABC equals to six times the radius of the circle. Okay, but we have already know it is given us in the question that the area of the big triangle ABC equals to six units. It is given us in the question. So we actually can substitute the uh, area of ABC in equation number one by six because the area equals to six units squared. Six units uh, squared. The area of triangle ABC equals to six units squared. So we can substitute the area of triangle ABC by six. Okay. So we substituted the area of triangle ABC by six, and we got the equation that six equals to, to six times the radius of the circle. We can divide this equation by six. So we divided this equality by six. We got that the radius six uh, over six equals to one. So the radius of uh, this circle equals to one unit. So that is actually the answer to the question. The radius of the circle enclosed in triangle ABC equals to one unit. Okay. Now I will summarize the lecture. Actually, we wanted to find out the radius of the circle that includes in triangle ABC. And uh, we know the, the side AB of the triangle equals to four units side BC of the triangle equals to three units, and side AC of triangle ABC equals to five units. And we also know that the area of triangle ABC equals to six units squared. We want to find the radius of the cir uh, circle enclosed in the triangle, in triangle ABC. The first step that we did is we defined the center of the circle as point O. Point O is the circle, of, is the center of uh, this circle. And uh, actually, the touching point between side AB and the circle is N. Or we can also say that side AB of the triangle is tangent to the circle at point N, and the, the touching point between side BC of the triangle and the circle is at point M, or, or we can also say <coughs> that side BC of the triangle is tangent to the circle at point M, and uh, The touching point between side AC of the triangle and the circle is at point P, or we can also say that side AC of the triangle is tangent to the circle at point P. 
Okay, then we connected together points N and O by a straight line. Line segment NO is the radius of the circle because it starts from the center of the circle and ends at point N on the circle itself for that reason. Line segment NO is the radius of the circle. And from, for the same reason also we connected the points O and M together by a straight line. And OM, line segment OM is the radius of the circle because it starts from the center of the circle and ends at point M, that is a, a point on the circle itself. For that reason, line segment MO is the radius of the circle and we also connected points O and P together by a, a straight line. Line segment OP is the radius of this circle because it starts from the center of the circle, this, that is point O and ends at point P, that is a point on the circle itself. For that reason, line segment OP is the radius of the circle. Uh, generally, the definition of uh, a radius is that uh, any line segment that is in the circle itself and starts from the center of the circle and ends at any point on the circle itself is defined as the, the radius of the circle. And those three line segments satisfied the definition of the radius of a circle. For that reason, those three line segments, NO, MO, and OP, are the radiuses of this circle. Okay, in the next step, uh, we actually have rule number one that states that in any circle, a radius and the tangent to that radius are perpendicular to each other. So if we have a radius, we defined it as R, and we have tangent, that we called it T. Then the radius is perpendicular to the tangent. That is to say this angle is 90 degrees, and this angle is also 90 degrees. Okay, so in any circle, a radius and the tangent to that radius are perpendicular to each other. Okay, so we actually can implement this rule number one in our circle because we have in our circle we built three radiuses and to those three radiuses we have three tangents okay and uh, for example radius and o of the circle for the radius we have the tangent AB for this radius and according to rule number one the radius is perpendicular to its tangent that is to say angle ONA equals to 90 degrees and also angle ONB equals to 90 degrees because the radius is perpendicular to its tangent okay so this angle is 90 degrees and this angle is also 90 degrees and uh, actually we have also radius MO and the tangent to this radius, that is B, side BC of the triangle. So according to rule number one, the radius is perpendicular to its tangent. That is to say angle OMC equals to 90 degrees and also angle OMB equals to 90 degrees because the radius OM is perpendicular to the tangent BC. Okay, for that reason this angle is 90 degrees and also this angle is 90 degrees. And also we have the radius OP and we have the tangent to this radius, that is side AC of the triangle. And according to rule number one, the radius is perpendicular to the tangent AC. For that reason, angle OPA equals to 90 degrees and also angle OPC equals to 90 degrees. Because the radius OP is perpendicular to the tangent AC. So this reason, this angle is 90 degrees and also this angle is 90 degrees. Okay, and uh, we actually have the area the formula for the area of any circle equals to the base of the triangle and the formula for the area 
of a triangle is actually uh, the base of the uh, triangle times the height to, to that base divided by 2. Or instead, instead the area of a triangle, we can use a, a capital letter A, that is the abbreviation for the area. So the area A of a triangle equals to the base of the triangle times the height to, to that base, all divided by 2. So we are actually can use this formula in order to calculate the area actually before that uh, we connected together points O and B by a straight line we connected together also points O and C by a straight line and we connected together by a straight line points O and A and uh, we can calculate the area of the green triangle, triangle VOC, by the formula for the area of a triangle, that is the base of the triangle times the height to the base divided by 2 equals to the area of the uh, green triangle. So the area of the green triangle equals to the base of the triangle, that is 3 units times the height. The height creates 90 degrees with the base, so the radius is the base, the radius is the height of the uh, green triangle, so the area of the green triangle equals to the base, that is 3 units, times the height, that is the radius of the circle, all divided by 2. The area of the green triangle equals to 1.5 times the radius. And in the same way, we calculated the area of the yellow triangle, triangle AOC. The area of the yellow triangle equals to the base of the triangle that is 5 units times the height of the triangle that is the radius all divided by 2. So the area of the yellow triangle equals to 5 times the radius divided by 2, 2.5 times the radius. And in the same way we also calculated the area of the orange triangle that equals to the base of the triangle that is 3 units times the height that is the radius all divided by 2. Or the area of the orange triangle equals to the base that is 4 units times the height of the triangle that is the radius all divided by 2. Or 4 over 2 equals to 2, so in total the area of the yellow triangle equals to 2 times the radius. And we also can say that the, the area of the big triangle ABC equals to the sum of the areas of the green triangle plus the area of the yellow triangle plus the area of the orange triangle. So actually in that way we can create equation number one that states that the area of triangle ABC equals to the area of the sum of the areas of the green triangle plus the area of the yellow triangle plus the area of the, uh, of the orange triangle. So we created equation number one that states that the area of the big triangle ABC equals to the area of the green triangle that is 1.5 times the radius plus the area of the yellow triangle that is 2.5 times the radius plus the area of the orange triangle that is 2 times the radius. Okay, again the area of the of triangle ABC equals to some of the areas of the green triangle plus the area of the yellow triangle plus the area of the orange triangle. Okay, so if we summarize this side of the equation, we will get that it is equal to 6 times the radius. So the area of triangle ABC equals to 6 times the radius. But we know that the area of triangle ABC is 6 units squared. It is given us in the question, so we can substitute the area of triangle ABC by 6, because it is equal to 6 units square. So we substituted the area of triangle ABC by 6. We got that 6 equals to 6 times the radius. We divided this equality by 6 and we got that the radius of the circle equals to 1 unit. Okay, the answer to the question is that the radius the, of the circle that enclosed in triangle ABC equals to 1 unit. Okay. Thank you very much.